Let's uh, get up to date with all the business news now. Declan Curry is at the London Stock Exchange. Good morning, Declan. Hello again, Susanna. Hello, Bill. Good morning, everyone, from the Stock Exchange. If you were watching yesterday, you saw us at Carlsberg National Distribution Centre talking about all the extra spending there's going to be during the World Cup on things like beer, flat-screen TVs and snack food and the likes. But what about the men and the women who aren't really that bothered by the World Cup, the so-called World Cup widows? Well, companies think that they, too, can be persuaded to spend a little bit more on things like spa, treatments, tennis lessons, even foreign holidays. Well, here at the Salon de Bourse, we will get uh, the views from a retail analyst in just a moment. But first, uh, we, uh, this is what we heard when we asked some football widows how they would avoid the World Cup. I'll be keeping an eye on my employees to make sure they're not watching the World Cup. If I don't want to watch the games, I guess I'll just go and play tennis or something, because probably there's going to be a lot of courts for you. Avoiding it won't be difficult, because I'll just be studying and... Thank God I'm not into football. <laughs> I will probably be watching Wimbledon in favour of the World Cup, but if Wimbledon's rained off, then the World Cup will come into my life. I'm American, it's not real football. I'll be going to Turkey, to the beach, cause, so I won't be able to watch it, unfortunately. Chilling out, pampering myself, maybe some sunbathing in the park and a lot of shopping. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, Nishta and Nasli have turned up from uh, Cobella Salon to uh, give some uh, retail therapy to our guest, Matt uh, Stockbridge. He's uh, from Consumer Insight. He's a director there of uh, that company. Uh, Matt, good morning good to morning. you. Good morning. Is this doing the business for you? Yeah, it's uh, very enjoyable. Uh, let's talk a bit about where this extra money uh, that uh, the World Cup widows are likely to spend. It feels a little bit like hype. <laughs> well, I think uh, a lot of companies will be looking at the World Cup um, and trying to find uh, opportunities to try and sell their products. So things like spas, for example, uh, will be looking to cash in because um, obviously there will be an opportunity. Is it a real opportunity though or is it just... It, 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 it feels so much like a marketing gimmick. You've got airlines talking about mm. women's only holidays in the Mediterranean. You've got the Swiss Tourist Board of all people <laughs> uh, offering you know, special deals for the next three weeks. It just feels like it's something got up by the advertising men, the marketing men. Um, well, most advertising marketing men will look to exploit any opportunity. Obviously, the World Cup's only on for a few weeks. So, um, yes, it may be an opportunity, maybe just a short-term game, but any, any PR is good PR, they'll say. And of course, as you say, it doesn't just stop with things like salon treatment. With the viewers we've been talking to you about this this morning, they're talking about things like going to the gym or going to play tennis because the gym and the tennis courts will be less crowded than usual. Yeah, uh, a lot of things. I mean, the shops as well will be less, uh, less full as well. Everybody's... Uh, in watching the uh, watching the games, but yeah, if um, that could be a fringe benefit, I think everyone's going to look to cash in in the short term. Whether or not it makes a difference longer term is uh, difficult to say. Of course, it is only three weeks. Exactly. Um, apart from those, what are the other changes in spending that we could expect to see? Um, I think uh, one of the things is the products that people can try and associate with the World Cup. So if you've got products that are geared towards indulgence or spas or whichever, you could easily start to market them towards women to say, look, whilst he's watching the football, why don't you pamper yourself with some of these? So toiletries, cosmetics, but they can be extended into alcohol, food and other areas. Um, looking at films coming out, you know, if there are films for the girls' nights out, for example, everyone's got the potential to, to make some money out of this over the next few weeks. Okay, all right. Matt Stockbridge, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks also to uh, Nishta and Nasli. Uh, we'll have uh, more uh, business. Uh, sorry about that. We'll have more business again from here after 8 o'clock. See you then. Uh, Declan, are you going to get your palm manipulated in a minute? Um, well, I washed my hands before I came to work. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that enough? You, it would relax you. All right, see you later. <laughs>